For years, mankind has pondered its creation. Were we all created by some omnipotent god? Or did we all evolve from some fish that learned to walk out of the ocean? Millions of people ponder this question every day. For some, the answers come easy, in the form of a book. For others, the answers come even easier, in the form of an even bigger book. With pictures. Join us as we look into one of the answers to this side of Jesus. Oh. <laughs> this theory of evolution was created by a man called Darwin. And who exactly is Darwin? And what did he do? We asked a world-renowned scientist for his opinion. Hello, children. Hello. What, Kermit? Oh. Yes, they are strong, aren't they? Very plump. Lots of muscles. And meat. Are you hungry, Kermit? What Darwin did was not a work of lunacy, but a work of genius. Oh wait, I mixed that up. <laughs> and what did this work claim? Well, let's see now. My trusty book. It claims that God is the all-powerful being in our universe and he, and he created all the creatures in the world in seven days and... This is a long book. Ah, here we are. <laughs> that was the, uh, the dictionary. Origin of species. Oh, I'm sorry, Kermit. Are you okay? Are you okay? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're funny. Okay, so the origin of species claims that natural selection is the main mechanism for evolution. Okay, so let me explain about natural selection. Let's say that there are three little piggies, delicious piggies, who lives in a big city. And a giant hairy frog goes... Hi all, Kermit the Frog here! And goes away. Okay, so Kermit, you're really, really hungry. And those piggies look really, really good. So you eat them, one by one. They're delicious. Very delicious. But one of the piggies tastes like apples and soap. It's very nasty. Oh yes it is. So Kermit, you spit it out. And so the one that survived is to reproduce The missing link, the last piece of the puzzle. I was sent out to a man who specialized in this field of uncharted scientific territory to know more. Well, I lay a team of researchers into the woods every Friday, searching for the Yeti. Yeti? Yes, Yeti. D don't those live in Canada? No man, they don't! And you call me a liar, I'll kill everyone in your family. Except the dogs, I don't hurt animals. That's why my team and I search for the Yeti. Uh, tell us what your team does. Well, we got this one guy who has a GPS locator. Except it's only in his car, so can't really take him in the far into the woods. But we got this other guy who's got this really nice cell phone. I think it's like one of those razors or whatever you call it. Uh, it's not really a razor. I tried to use it to amputate my friend's limb one time, but it, it didn't end well. And then the last guy we got brings snacks and sometimes a flashlight. But he can only come every other Friday. You see, he has children. Um, what, what do you do, personally? Well, my talent is very special. See? I can make a female yeti call. Make that yeti come right over. Mm -hmm. See, you usually start in the diaphragm. Suck up some air. <sighs> you wait about 10 seconds so it gets in there good and nasty and it's stale. And then you let it out. This um, interview is over. <laughs> but is Darwin just a scientist. Some claim that he is a prophet, a messiah of the new era. 
went. <laughs> Why do I just sacrifice it? Why are you offering? Going day is a Monday! It's so coming! Go away! Darwin! 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 I found a man who claimed to have been enlightened by Darwin. Yeah. My father, Lord Savior, Darwin the old monkey, he's gonna come back to come back to life to save us all from our impending doom. Yeah. He said so about his deathbed. Yeah. And once he comes back, he's gonna teach us the divine truth to unite us all. And we will be enlightened forever. Don't we? Yeah! So just who was this Darwin? Was he a scientist who made an amazing discovery? Or was he a prophet? I found a man who claimed to know. <sighs> Who is that? Uh, we're from the, uh, the documentary crew. Uh, we're here for the interview. Documentary? Ah, uh, yes. I have my assistant, Mel Come over here. I'll give you an interview. Uh, okay, uh, so, uh, why, why the bag? Well, it is a disguise from the aliens, so that they will not be able to see me. I, I see, uh... Would you like to sit down so we can talk about this more carefully? Ah, uh, yes, I will sit down. Whoa. I thought there was a chair. Ah, classic method of interrogation. Place me on a bright light in small, small chair next to a bag of manure. Ah, your people have learned well. Uh, tell me about Darwin. Ah, uh, yes, Darwin. You see, for years I have known that Darwin was weird. He is not a normal human, like you or I. He is a strange man. He just magically finds an island full of animals. The crucial little theory of, what, evolution? Oh, God. Ah, uh, Darwin. I know the truth about Darwin. And what exactly is this, um, truth that you speak of? Get ready for the bombshell. Darwin is no normal human. He is an alien. An alien from space. What are you fighting, guys? So, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Darwin was an alien. I hope that you have learned something from this documentary. Thank you.